This is the NFL on EA Sports, and you get a look inside a hot and humid Everbank Stadium here in the city of Jacksonville. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And off we go from Jacksonville. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. First carry for the Clemson man, Travis Etienne. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They'll send the tight end in motion left. Lawrence will throw. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. Yeah, I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Now Lawrence to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. So on fourth down, here's Logan Cook to punt for Jacksonville. A big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing to start the drive, Allen. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now a second and ten. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Good-looking run there by Cook as he picks up a first down. And he's established himself now as one of the best backs in the NFL, finishing in the top five in rushing last year for the first time in his career. To throw, it's Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. 
Coleman, the man in motion left. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. This is Coleman with a grab. And he's taken down inside the 30. We're scoreless after one. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Back to the ground, Cook. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the 21, here's second and three. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. That'll be complete to Cook. Touchdown, Bills! James Cook from 21 yards away. And the Bills post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Here's Lawrence. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, this secondary, they've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. Here's second and 10. Here's Lawrence to throw. A short throw to Ingram. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a good-looking play to me. The big tight end on a crossing route coming underneath. Sometimes he can gain some serious momentum going forward, can he? Yeah, he can indeed, and pretty well executed there. Now they need two. Here's third down. Play action. It's Lawrence. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big-time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. So no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw, Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 
12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. He'll get this out to the flat for ETM. And out of bounds right around the 20. So the completion good for seven there at its second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now Lawrence. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. From the shotgun, Lawrence, quick slant, caught by Kirk. And the Jaguars are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Lawrence. And he's got it. It's Thomas for a Jacksonville touchdown. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Jaguars are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. After nearly 30 minutes of football, that touchdown puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. Point after, right down the middle. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And fighting down inside the 25. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here. Here's Allen. Quick slant to Valdez Scantling. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Allen now looks to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Coleman. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. to the air. Allen. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez Scantling. Well, the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. In motion, the tight end. Now Allen. And that will be incomplete with the clock showing 18 seconds now to go. 
And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Allen going to throw. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills have taken the lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Jaguars ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. And with Lawrence's arm, they may give him a shot to let this thing rip downfield. We'll see. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. Final play of the half. It's Lawrence. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Extra point right down the middle. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we hit the halftime break here in Jacksonville with the Jags on top. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come back, continue to throw the ball effectively. He got 29 yards that time. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. First down, here's the run with Cook. And some room to work. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 54 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily, break a few tackles, gain some additional yardage. Here's Allen to throw it. And it's caught. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. On play action, Allen steps away. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen punching it in from a yard away. And the Bills have retaken a third-quarter lead. 
He didn't originally want to run, but he didn't see anything in the passing game, so he scrambled, and wouldn't you know it, he scores a touchdown anyway. It's awfully nice to have a quarterback who can make things happen with his legs. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 17-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here comes the Jags offense now, time for their first possession of half number two. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Second and seven. Now Lawrence to throw. A short throw to Ingram. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. From midfield now, Lawrence. Thomas brings it in. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A very solid gain of 27. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. The Lawrence will throw. Looking for the out route here, and it's completed to Kirk. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Again, it's Lawrence. And one more time, here's Kirk. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Now Lawrence. Open man right side is Ingram. Two yards on the pickup there, and that's going to bring up second down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. From the gun, it's Lawrence. This is caught. Touchdown! Christian Kirk on the receiving end of that touchdown pass from Trevor Lawrence. And the Jaguars have moved out in front here in the final minute of the third quarter. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. Extra point splits the uprights, and that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. 
And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. The Bills offense back out onto the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. The Bills have the football, but they trail here as we begin quarter number four. Now Allen. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Allen. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. To throw, it's Allen. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Here's Sam Martin now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoops all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs. And the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run. But you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. Here's Lawrence to throw. Completes it to Evan Ingram. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. I just love how they're going about trying to finish off this game. This is not an offense that's going to go into its shell. They're going to keep exploiting weaknesses where they see them. And that's a huge pickup there with the game in the balance. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And they'll go again with ETN. 
Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. Draw play, ETN. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. ETN up the middle. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And his kick is good. And that'll make this a seven-point game. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Allen and the Bills now down 24-17. A little over a minute to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. To throw is Allen. He's able to get it to Coleman. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. Steps away to his left. Nice, solid game there, partner, but the clock is starting to become his enemy. Absolutely. Every second right now, more and more precious as it ticks. They come up now on second and two. Throwing Allen. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. One final shot. They'll look to throw. This to possibly force OT. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. But all came down to one final jump ball on the Hail Mary, but partner, the defense was ready, able to force it to be incomplete. Ball game over. Look, let's face it. Everybody wants to work the ball in closer and take a more high percentage pass to try and tie the game. But the Hail Mary, that's what they had to work with. And now they're just hoping that their jumpers can get up higher and are stronger than the defenders. Not the case in this instance. They end up losing the game. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Jaguars are winners here as we say so long from Jacksonville.